This time we're on uh, KDE 4.7.2 and I'm going to talk about is containment or sometimes they're referred to as desktop layouts. Uh, so right click on here, go to desktop settings and if you don't have this it should say uh, grouping desktop and grid desktop. Uh, they're very similar but it's like one or two differences but it's almost the same thing. So the first thing is the grouping desktop and that's what we're using here it's basically for people that wants to use uh, a lot of plasmoids uh, or slash widgets whatever you want to call them and let's say we right click on here they have this new option which is add groups right so we add groups they have five groups first one is tabbing uh, basically you know you know make tabs stacking is like one on top of the other the grid is well they give you a grid and basically it helps you align it I guess and the flow group is for columns and uh, rows I believe and the floating one is mainly like freestyle how you want to set up your widgets right but it's basically a way to organize your widgets within uh, these groups that they have so the first one I'll talk about is mainly the floating group and this one, let me make it bigger a little bit. It's uh, kind of nice, you know, if you want to add like uh, add a widget, I don't know, like digital clock and maybe analog clock. And this one, you can just like touch this other widgets and it's now is binded with that one. So you can see what up, whoops, you put it in there. Now it's binded with. Um, you know these other widgets that contains it and you can do this one too right and you know kinda useful if you want to um, group it into uh, common widgets right that you use so that's how that one works and that one is the floating group uh, the other one probably useful too is that uh, let me close that one off uh, what is it called the tabbing group this one is for people that you know has a lot of um, widgets and they need tabs for it so let's say for example let's make it bigger bigger like there and now if we add um, widgets to it let's say for example I don't know okay let's say the digital clock again right now you have that uh, in here uh, this widget here they actually have this thing on the size of it you know and what this one does is add columns or rolls to it uh, for their the grid in the back uh, and how you are resizing here is don't use the, the, the you know the menu that they have use the um, this little square box thing that they have here so you can do that and that's how you would resize in here right and uh, like I said before, this one is to add the uh, uh, like more tiles or rows and columns. Because if you do this, you see that there's nine tiles in the back, right? If you add a column, let's say we add one, right? Now you have, uh, let's see how much they got, twelve there, right? And you can do that more uh, if if you want to add this side, maybe add this side, you know, you you get the idea. And when you resize, make sure you do that little, uh, what's that, the square little box here, and not the the menus on the side here. Uh, so that's how that works. Now this one is called the tab. So obviously you can add tabs in here. So we add another tab, and you can switch between them like that, right? And in here you can add more uh, widgets. Let's say we add in, um, what did we that? What did we add before? let's just add this battery monitor or whatever and you see you switch between them just like so uh, if you want to rename the tabs because they always say it's new tab or whatever let's say the first one we'll call it normal right and rename the page the second one we'll call it uh, I don't know battery rename that sucker and okay and now you have the tab names which makes more sense and that's how that works and it's still contained within 
you know this uh, tabbing group uh, when you move it around and when you close it it should close all that it, it contains alright so if I close it it closes all of it that it contains it um, I think that's about it for that now they do have this thing called the was that the grouping panel so if you do add a new panel it's kinda of buggy this one but basically if you have was that one of these groups right the the tab that one one that we did and you have all your um you know widgets within here you can actually move this one up there and it'll bind it um uh, or it'll dock it with this grouping panel which like I said is kinda of buggy so that's what I want to show it off but that's what it's supposed to do so that's the end of that close that one off and I think that's about it for the the grouping now let's switch over to the grid desktop All right. Um, let's switch over to a different activities here so the grid desktop here basically the difference is from what I see is that the whole desktop is a grid right you see how you have these little things that I talked about earlier it's to add uh, you know columns or d more tiles to it and if you move some of this you can see that there's a grid in the background and that's why they call it uh, grid desktop right right here uh, and you can still use all your other groups that we've talked about before um, but the only difference that I know of is the whole thing is the grid now and, and that's the only difference between uh, the grouping desktop and the grid desktop basically you use the same stuff like uh, the groups and the widgets you can use it uh, but one is a one is a normal one and one is the grid that's it that's the only difference anyways if you want to install it um, which I don't think is by default but let's say what is that we search for yeah we'll search for containment and this is the package alright it's called plasma containments add-ons uh, you can do sudo aptitude install, apt-get install, whatever you want to do with it, or search it within your uh, what's that? K package kit or Muon if you're using that. Uh, so that's it for this one on desktop layouts or slash containments. And if you didn't know about this, and you're a heavy uh, widget user, maybe this will be more beneficial because you can actually organize your stuff. But that's it for this one.